Hello friends, welcome back for another video. I am so sorry it has taken me this long to upload a video. I don't even know how where to begin. So much has happened since the last time I filmed a video and I'm so sorry for just taking a while to upload a video. A lot of things have just been going on. Your girl's been kind of busy going through a transition period. Got a new job. Yeah, just kind of really busy. That's basically it, you guys. Two weeks ago, um, I wasn't feeling very good. Luckily, I tested negative, but I just was not feeling good. I actually still have a little bit of like a, like it kind of feels a little congestion, but I am feeling so much better. And also Justin, he got his booster shot and then he wasn't feeling good. And so I was like, oh, there's, I don't think it's a good time to vlog right now. We just need to rest. As I mentioned, I got a new job. I do accounting if you guys didn't know, and I'm in a, a new unit, um, but also it's some, it's a position that I've kind of always wanted to, to get. And I'm just really grateful that I was able to get it. Your girl has not had an interview for for eight years and so I was so nervous you guys. TikTok came through though and just helped me out um, just kind of prepare myself. TikTok, don't underestimate it man. There's some, some, some gems on there. That's pretty much it. I really wanna just get back on this. I've missed you guys. I've been working with some really cool brands and that's been taking off. I'm just really, really grateful because I know that you guys are always there to support me and I wouldn't be able to have these kinds of opportunities if it wasn't for just you guys always just coming through to support my channel, my Instagram, just everything. I just really appreciate you guys. I just got done with work and I wanna put on some makeup and I have something to shoot for a brand today. So I figured you guys can just hang out with me. It may not be exciting. I'm just glad to just be back here. Being able to connect with you guys. I hope you all are doing well. Let's just go ahead and get ready. I can show you guys some products that I've just got and yeah, I don't know. Let's just, let's just go with it. Okay. I'm just gonna eat some Hawaiian bread real quick. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick little makeup situation here so that way I'm not completely barefaced for the reel that I need to film today. It's actually an unboxing video or like an unboxing slash try on from Cotton. You know, for me, once I find something that works, I kind of just stick to it. You know that saying where it's like, you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Like, that's kind of how I am with makeup. So, um, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. You know, I keep coming back to this one, mainly because I feel like it suits my skin very well. It kind of has this mattifying effect because I'm very, very oily. I used to hate how oily I got because I felt like that was like the reason why I was breaking out and hence why I stopped using moisturizer and that actually did more harm than good for me. Now I'm learning that oil is not bad. Also, one thing that I need to be careful because I actually, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I've filmed this three times already and every single time because I'm so concentrated on the video, I wasn't actually paying attention to what my makeup would look like. So one time I filmed the video and my eyebrows looked so janky, you guys. I know that your eyebrows are supposed to look like sisters or they don't, they're not supposed to look like twins. They're supposed to look like sisters. They didn't even look like friends. I was watching the video. I was like, oh yes, I filmed a video. I was going through it. I was about to edit it and I was like, no freaking way. And I tried to get through it. I just looked like I did it with my eyes closed and my, my like one hand tied behind my back. Actually both hands tied behind my back. It just looked so bad. So I kind of need to focus just a little bit. But anyways, after I put on the foundation, I do put a little bit of powder. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. This might be the same 
one that I was using last time. How often are you supposed to change your makeup, you guys? Is it like 12 months? How do you guys keep track of that? Do you write it on, I guess that's smart to write it on the actual packaging when you got it. So that way you can at least calculate if it's been that long. Cause on, on the makeup, it's a 30 months, 12 months. But I'm just like, I don't even remember when I got this. It's okay. Maybe I'll start doing that eventually. <laughs> forgot to do one thing, which I should have done earlier, but it's okay. Um, I'm going to use um, Merit's uh, Perfecting Correct Complexion Brush um, just to get my under eye. I should have did this before the powder, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. I haven't filmed a video in weeks, so please be, be patient with me, okay? I'm like trying to catch my groove again. Yeah, I use the color khaki and I actually really like this. I use this more so for an everyday look or whenever I want to have like a super light natural coverage. The only reason why I'm not using it right now is because I am filming something. And then they also have a good brush as well. I really, really like this brush. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and do eyelashes because why not? You know, I used to do the, um, the eyelash extensions where you would lay down for two hours, quite expensive. But then again, when girls do it, it looks stunning. It makes me miss when I used to have it. Cause I will say it was nice just being able to wake up. Bam, I woke up like this. I look fabulous. I'm using the uh, Merit uh, Perfect Black Lengthening Mascara. It doesn't, it's not dramatic for my lashes, but it does lengthen it. This is a good natural everyday similar to the uh, foundation. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and just do eyebrows. Oh, eyebrows. You know what? What messed me up was that I used a pencil and I thought, oh, I should fill this in a little bit more. Messed me up. So I'm just going to use the volumizing pomade. This is also by the brand Merit. Uh, the reason why I'm using Merit a lot is because they have gifted me these products. And so I wanted to use them and I actually really like them ever since, sorry, I'm gonna actually look this way. Ever since I have shared with you guys Merit um, in my previous video last year, um, I've been using it on a consistent basis. So this is the color brown. I recently got my eyebrows did too. Finally, that was another reason why I was like, I think I can't post this video because my eyebrows were just so bushy and I was I kept trying to convince myself it's okay. Thick eyebrows are in, which they are, and I think they're beautiful, but I think there comes a point where it just, my brows were just starting to take over my face. And so I finally got them cleaned. I feel like this brow is just always just more fuller and thicker and it bothers me, but I don't think I could really do anything about it. And I don't know, guys, what am I doing? Okay, we'll take it. Let's put a little bit. <gasps> Did I mess up? I've been using the Hula Benefit Bronzer. And I kind of use it for my cheeks too, because my undertone is red. Yeah, I kind of just use it on my cheeks. Is that weird? Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, and then I'm going to do some lips. My friend gave me this lip liner from M Cosmetics, my first time ever using their products, and wow, I am in love. This color is so, so good. And then I go in with this lip gloss that I just got from Merit, and I just wanna mention too, they gave this to me over the holiday. I don't know if it comes with the black one anymore, but I know for your first purchase, they used to give like this mustard color um, pouch. Dude, that's what I love about ordering from them is they give these little just accessories. Merit is cute like that. And to end this little makeup situation, I'm gonna use the, it's the tinted lip oil. I just love the formula, how it feels. It's not too sticky. And the colors are so beautiful for any skin color. The last one I had was Ana Natural. I thought that was really nice for spring, summer. And then they recently gave me this taupe one that I have been using on repeat because I just think it's like the perfect nude for me. I'm going to do an unboxing and 
just continue on with the rest of the day. So, oh, by the way, everything that I have just used in this very easy beginner's makeup look, <laughs> um, I will link it all in the description box below in case you're interested. But yeah, I need to start filming because the sun has been going down like very, very early. So I'm gonna start doing that now. Hi friends. So I just got a package from the brand Cotton and I thought I would do a unboxing slash try with you guys. Let's go. Kajan filming for this set right here and I don't think I've talked much about cotton in the past so I thought I would show you guys one of the pieces that they sent me. I really like it. First off, they sent me this bandeau that comes with like an essential bikini, it's like a high rise. This is the ribbed pants. So these two go together and this is the ribbed cardigan that goes along with these ribbed pants. This I think could be a dress. I almost want to try it. I think it's really cool how, you know, when you get your package, it doesn't have any plastic. It comes in this nice canvas tote. I love totes to be honest, so I would wear this a lot. Okay, so I'm wearing it as a dress. Let me bring the camera down so you guys can see it. We're just gonna, we're gonna try, okay? So I have these boots from the brand Looks Like Summer. Ooh. Wait a second. I think this could be a look. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, okay. Should I throw on this canvas tote? I was actually not expecting this to work out the way that it did, but I'm surprised. Like when it comes to pieces, I think also kind of keeping it with, I don't want to say neutrals because I feel like color is also okay. Pieces that are not so like out there, then you it's easy to make different outfits like this, for example. I wasn't expecting that and now I have another outfit. I think it's good to support brands, but at the same time, I'm really trying not to over consume. So yeah, I'm going on a rant, but anyways, I am done for the day and I just appreciate you guys for hanging out with me. I had a lot of fun working on some stuff with you and you guys keeping me company. I'm gonna just have some dinner and call it a day. All right, just changed into something a little bit more comfortable. Just a tiki sweater. Just kept my jewelry on just to add a little something something. And then stayed with the same jeans. Uh, these are Totem. My Birkenstocks, really been wearing these a lot lately. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna wear. Hello friends, back in the car again, except with Justin. It's like we're always driving, right? It's <laughs> like know. a never ending drive. <laughs> we are off to go to Justin's favorite spot, which is Salance, cause he always gets the burger there. We were gonna get ramen, but we have church tonight and ramen just puts us to sleep so we're like nah let's not so we're going to sell ends and I'm pretty sure if I'm vlogging half of my vlogs were at sell ends and this is no different <laughs> we're just the cre we're just creatures of, of habit <laughs> and then Maisie is in the back Maisie hi Bubba he cleaned up the house thanks hun yeah ha ha all right guys we'll see you guys in a bit Honestly, that's what we always get. <laughs> 